Following the premiere of the exhilarating film Sound of Freedom, the amazing discoveries made by Mel Gibson in an interview regarding the underbelly of Hollywood have reappeared online. And he is not holding back when he accuses Hollywood's elites and major businessmen of having a vendetta against him. You've been put on summary. The following terms and conditions apply to the 36-month period of informal probation. You must put in 16 hours of community service. Gibson, a fervent fan of the movie, has used social media to urge people to see its impact. After the film's release, an interview in which the actor expressed his bewilderment at Hollywood's true character caught the Internet's attention. I believe it is progressing. I really believe that the dark areas have now been illuminated. It's unpleasant, but it's essential for transformation. Moviegoers have reported being ejected from their seats in theaters during extraordinary disturbances, according to reports of the new film's turbulent opening. The story of Sound of Freedom is inspired by Tim Ballard's valiant efforts to end child sex trafficking in all of its forms. You know there was a lot of stuff I couldn't grasp, so I had a lot of strange paranoid suspicions about what the hell was going on. Elijah Schaffer, a movie producer and slightly unpleasant podcast host, discovered intriguing links between the two in a gripping tweak, he posted on Sunday, despite the fact that the interview doesn't directly address the themes of Sam of Freedom. Before speaking in the accompanying video, he exclaims in shock, Gibson Mel in 1998 Sam of Freedom is the real deal foresaw the dangers of Hollywood anticipated how they would turn against him and made a suggestion that performers might actually be devils. He wants to reveal something incredibly sinister that he knows. He speaks with terrifying sincerity. Gibson's name appears in brackets following Schaffer's in the tweet, indicating some level of engagement with the project. Nevertheless, the actor has mostly promoted the film online and is not thought to have been directly involved in its creation. The clip in question is an edited outtake from an episode of Hollywood Conversations from 1998 that features a fascinating conversation between Mel Gibson and British film director Mike Figgis. The enthralling three minutes and ten seconds shared on Twitter have received an astounding 2.7 million views even though the original program lasted 24 minutes. Gibson begins the conversation by describing his earliest bizarre delusional ideas about Hollywood. He acknowledges that when he initially got there he thought he was being unnecessarily paranoid only to find out later that many of his suspicions were absolutely justified. His face shows the realization that his greatest thoughts have come true spellbinding the audience. Additionally, Gibson is open about his expectations of betrayal in Hollywood and uses the visual metaphor of a knife going into his back in his speech. This portrayal of betrayal is one that many people in the industry can relate to. The actor describes a fascinating experience with a famous person who, as they approached each other through a crowd, made him feel uneasy due to their icy demeanor. Gibson ends the tale with a startling revelation. However, it is initially unclear to whom he is referring. And I immediately had the impression, oh no, Chris Walken is the Antichrist. Gibson talks on the need for cockroach resilience in the final line of the Twitter video about surviving in the harsh climate of Hollywood. Mel Gibson was all the rage on social media in June mid rumors that he was working on a groundbreaking docu-series that would reveal the multi-billion dollar worldwide child sex trafficking industry. By releasing what it claimed to be breaking news, the leading report's Twitter page created a lot of interest. The celebrity's participation in a four-part documentary series looking at the $34 billion global child sex trafficking industry, which includes nations like Ukraine, more than 11 million people have viewed this tweet, and it has hundreds of likes, comments, and retweets. It's time to uncover the truth, a different well-known person social media influencer Matt Wallace, who has 1 million Twitter followers, echoed. Although Tim Ballard, the creator of the anti-sex trafficking organization Operation Underground Railroad Hour, had previously hinted at Gibson's involvement in his docuseries, a spokesman for the renowned actor vehemently denied the claims rejecting them as untrue. Journalist Catherine Brodsky questioned the veracity of the leading story's content, even as the allegations gained widespread attention by pointing out the lack of sources for their purported breaking news. She brazenly pointed out the circulation of erroneous information in the following tweet, demonstrating how such unfounded rumors can spread on social media without sufficient verification. This man's career has been characterized by amazing highs and terrible lows. 
Mel Gibson was at the top of his game in the early 2000s enjoying a prominent position as a true cinematic star and auteur. An extraordinary mix of variables had secured his status. Not only did he emanate an alluring charm that earned him praise from People magazine as the hottest dude on earth in 1985, however, he also held significant power inside the entertainment sector earning the title of Ford's most powerful celebrity in 2004. Numerous prizes for to recognize talent and devotion. He won two major Academy Awards for Best Picture and Best Director for the 1995 epic Braveheart, which he both co-starred in and directed. In addition, his success at the box office was indisputable with 10 of his movies earning more than $100 million domestically between 1989 and 2002. His directing of The Passion of the Christ in 2004 exceeded all expectations, grossing an amazing $600 million globally on a $30 million budget. Gibson's celebrity and power were unparalleled at the time and there is no one who comes close in the post-movie star era. One could imagine a scenario where Chris Hemsworth, the current part drop, decided to pursue directing and found success. Or perhaps Christopher Nolan is pursuing a successful career as an action hero or even George Clooney showing more dependable success at the box office. That is how profound Mel Gibson's influence on the entertainment industry was. When Gibson was stopped by a police officer in 2006 for drunk driving a terrible outburst of anti-Semitic slutters resulted which was a major setback. His reputation suffered greatly as a result of the episode especially considering that it wasn't the first time he had been linked to bigoted acts. Prior to it his 2004 movie, the Passion of the Christ had caused controversy because of its controversial portrayal of Jews which drew condemnation from groups like the Anti-Defamation League. Gibson's once famous career started to wane when the media revealed a disturbing history of racist utterances spanning decades including instances of homophobia and disparaging remarks about women. As the criticism and backlash against Gibson grew respected people in the industry like Amy Pascal, the CEO of Sony, and Ari Emanuel, the CEO of William Morris Endeavor Entertainment, distanced themselves from him. At the same time, ABC dropped the miniseries Gibson was developing on the Holocaust. Gibson admitted to his despicable actions, made efforts to get better, and apologized in front of the people. But the unfavorable coverage seriously hurt his career. Gibson's 2006 film Apocalypto, which was somewhat successful at the box office but received mixed reviews from critics, was released in theaters. The following five years saw a notable fall in Gibson's movie releases. Then 2010, Oksana Grivariva, Gibson's girlfriend, accused him of abuse while she was carrying their daughter causing his personal life to once again make headlines. Leaked recordings of their exchanges severely damaged Gibson's reputation because they exposed further objectionable language he had used. Gibson pleaded no contest to a misdemeanor battery charge, underwent court-ordered counseling, and paid penalties as the only legal repercussions for this occurrence. Many believed that because of his perks and prominence, he had gotten away with a serious crime. The effects on Hollywood, however, were more significant. On the day the tapes were made public, his agency fired him and well-known actors like Leonardo DiCaprio withdrew from Gibson's projects. Get the Gringo, a 2012 release in which Gibson produced, co-wrote, and featured was consigned to video on demand after cast and crew objections forced the cancellation of a planned Gibson appearance in The Hangover. Following the scandals, it seemed that no one in Hollywood wanted to be associated with Mel Gibson or include him in their projects for a while. Gibson maintained a low profile and appeared to be hidden from view. The highly praised movie Hacksaw Ridge, which also had a big box office success, earning $175 million globally and $67 million domestically, allowed him to make a stunning comeback as a director in 2016. Six Oscar nominations were made for the movie, including one for Best Director. With his part in the family comedy Daddy's Home 2, which brought in an astonishing $180 million worldwide, Gibson continued his comeback in 2017. Hollywood has up until this point generally continued to support Gibson, despite these scandals. Recent rejection from them has left him with a bad online reputation, and his followers no longer want to see him in motion pictures. Well, I'm delighted to hear they replaced Mel Gibson, this person tweeted. We shouldn't be promoting his career right now because he's just too controversial. 
take a large sip of coffee and find out who the new Rocky is. Even Jack White attacked him and a few others claiming that anyone who normalizes or treats this repulsive fascist racist scam man Trump with any kind of respect is likewise repulsive in my eyes. A book. Joe Rogan, you are that. Mel Gibson, you Guy Fieri, and Mark Wahlberg, another individual, provided a justification for a circle. Mel Gibson is an outright anti-Semite, an abhorrent racist, a misogynistic pig, and an idiot Taliban. So, it makes total sense that he enjoys socializing with Roger Stone and Donald Trump. Folks, there is a conclusion to the video. I appreciate you coming.